this is Amy Carden and I want to welcome you to Creativity Tuesday. It's May 8th and I'm so excited to be here again with you today. I've got some inner child work for us to play with. So here I've got a page that I have uh, put extra paint on and some mermaid markers from Jane Davenport is also on here. I started out with like a, a spring theme um, a couple of days ago and I decided I didn't really like it so I wanted to turn it into something else. So I've got some gesso and you saw my little ballerina that I pulled from a whole stack of paper dolls from Tim Holtz and Ranger and I'm gonna work with like I said my my inner child today and my inner child is always dancing I don't know about yours but she is in a big floofy uh, tutu and she definitely likes to dance um, so now I'm starting on the background I've kind of placed my little ballerina she's over to the side waiting for me and I'm going in with some you guessed it phthalo turquoise now I can't believe I didn't start with purple but hey who knows I don't know where I was <laughs> when I did this page but I was feeling the phthalo turquoise and that's what I went with you'll see me coming in with teal now and then Liquitex soft body brilliant yellow green and I love this color for the pop that it gives the two blues and I'm using a little more paint than I did with the other colors and because my my inner child loves to doodle. I'm actually going to go in with an embossing tool that I've had forever and make little swirls and squiggles and some line work and all kinds of little marks. And I just love that when, uh, when everything's complete, it just gives it a lot of texture and I just really enjoy it. And I'm going in with another little bit of teal so that I can doodle some more. And here I am working on my horizon so that I can have something for the little ballerina to stand on. I'm trying to figure out placement at this point. So I'm using a circle template to uh, create a sun in the sky. I know, shocker, I didn't use purple yet and I'm not doing a moon. I don't know what's wrong with me today, but this is what I was feeling. So I guess it's because it's just been so sunny and beautiful out. So I filled in the circle with, with gesso, and you can see the mermaid markers are bleeding up through. There's a little bit of a pink or an orange that's coming through. It's such a bummer, but that's okay. It's just something for me to keep in mind next time. I am coming in with, with a stamp that I made that's in this circular pattern that I just really, really loved. And I'm also doing a wonder stamp, which I also really enjoy. That's my word of the year, so I wanna put it on I want to start putting it in the background of most of my paintings. So the little girl, I, I really want her to stand out, so I've decided to pull some book pages that I had in my scrap heap. So I turned it over and it had a poem by Emily Dickinson about childhood and I just thought it was perfect. So I'm putting that down with some matte, matte medium and then putting the little girl on top of that and then covering both things with, with a clear gesso. A tip about adding paper, put the, uh, put the matte medium on the actual paper on the back and on the substrate you're using and then also put it on top. Now this allows you to really smooth it down and not get a lot of bubbles. Now you'll see those mermaid markers are bleeding through and some of it is becoming blue. So I blot here and there and, and I'm trying really hard not to, to make sure that she doesn't turn out blue. And I'm, I've grabbed a bunch of washi tapes out of my drawer and I've just chosen some blue colors 
and now I'm going in and this is basically going to be texture by the end because I plan on covering it with some uh, paint and here again I'm gluing things down with the clear gesso because washi tape doesn't take um, acrylics really well. So now it's time to paint over collage. So I'm using the photograph as a way to know where the highlights and the low lights or the, the shadows are. And so that's what you see me doing. I'm coming in with a couple of different colors from Jane Davenport flesh tones and like the deep uh, burgundy colors for the legs, arms, and chest and face for this little girl. And while I'm filling this in, I'm thinking about what color I want the dress to be. And I'm thinking, you know, as always, it's probably going to be purple. <laughs> Her face is so small, you'll see me try to start filling in the eyes and kind of the the shadows of the face and I I will admit I gave up because it's just so, so small, um, I wasn't going to be able to really do it. So I go in with um, some carbon black for her shoes and, and I do some line work here with, with a brush, but I end up not using it and going over it in, it in a minute with the flesh tones and kind of covering it up because I thought it was way too stark for her and I wanted a more painterly effect. Like I said, I knew I was going to do purple, so I've added some permanent violet dark, and then you'll see me go in with a spray bottle and spray and blot and then add paint and then spray and <laughs> blot. I ended up just basically spraying onto my palette after the second time because I just kept adding too much water and it wasn't the consistency that I needed. So. Um, I'm, I'm still following the, the image itself for the, um, for the highlights and the shadows. Um, you can still sort of see the two two uh, details, which is what I wanted and why I use the water to really, really dilute the, the paint. And now I'm back up to the sun, letting the little girl dry and I decided that the yellow was too dark. This is Indian yellow hue, so I went in with some water and a baby wipe to kind of brighten it up. I have decided to also use that around the little girl to brighten her up and, and make her really a focal image. Now, uh, I decided in the middle of painting the yellow that I wanted her little aura to be bigger, so I've come in with some gesso and I am adding it and it's picking up the not dry yellow. Um, and I'm going to go in again with Indian Yellow Hue and maybe a little bit of water too. And while the gesso is still wet, I'm just mixing it up and, and, uh, and going over that book page and kind of blending into the background. And I can tell you this, that at the end of the painting, I, I, I didn't record this, but I end up going in with some yellow sparkle, sparkly iridescent ink just to give it a little more kick and you know I've got to have some glitter on my page so that's why I did that. And now I'm 
I'm going in with the the phthalo turquoise again to go over the to kind of push the background back a little more and make it a little darker I've also done um, I'm spraying water or I've sprayed water on my palette and I'm picking it up with my brush and and really diluting the the phthalos, the phthalo turquoise and I'm leaving the bit around the sun at, um, lighter, but I really am not feeling the green right next to that sun, so I have to come in with some gesso to cover it up. Um, but the texture's still there, so I'm good with that. So I come in with the gesso, and then I decide what color I want around the sun, and I decided to go with a teal. I'm not really going for realistic at all. And you can see me try to cover up with gesso some of the mermaid markers, those pink ones that are coming up through the sun. those gesso marks with, with Indian yellow hue and going in with a baby wipe again. And here's Prussian blue and I'm just using the, the, the paint from the cap and I'm just adding it in. idea of her holding a feather I decided against it and here I am with my fine liner and I've got some white paint and airbrush medium and I'm going into the Sun kind of making it uh, way brighter I took a pause and when I was thinking about the sentiment that I wanted to put on my painting I decided on a quote from Effie Wilde. It's my bones don't know my age and I'm using a Uniball Signo white pen. Here, I'm just adding a few highlights with the Uniball Signo. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week. Please like and subscribe if you love this video and want to see more from me. And I hope you have a great week. Bye. <music>